Now, the FDA has officially granted emergency use authorization to Moderna and Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccines for children under five and as young as six months old. ABC's Karina Mitchell reports that the U.S. continues seeing more than 100,000 new COVID cases a day. Millions of doses of the COVID vaccine for the youngest children in America now on its way to pediatricians and pharmacies around the country, with Pfizer saying it plans to ship 2.5 million doses by the end of the month. It comes just hours after the FDA officially gave its emergency authorization. Parents, caregivers, and healthcare providers can trust that both of these vaccines have been authorized with science and safety at the forefront of our minds. The CDC is expected to give their final approval today, signaling the green light for children under five and as young as six months to roll up their sleeves as soon as next week. Most states require the governor or public health commissioner to sign off on vaccine recommendations, which could cause a small delay. Florida is the only state that didn't pre-order the shots. Governor Ron DeSantis says he doesn't support giving the COVID vaccine to healthy children under the age of 17. Doctors can get it, hospitals can get it, uh, but there's not going to be any state programs uh, that are going to be trying to, uh, you know, get COVID jabs to infants and toddlers. It's infuriating. It's making it very difficult for parents that do want to get their children that are under five vaccinated. In Illinois, Claire Barnes says she's going to bring her four-year-old daughter, Maya, to get the jab as soon as she can. No hesitancy for the vaccine. I guess my question would be if there's two available.